What's Gucci, everybody? Welcome to part four in my tutorial series of how to make a Ruby gem. And what we're going to do in this video is finish our GitHub integration with Travis CI, which allows us to do some very nice um, build testing. So in our last video, we pushed everything to GitHub, which is a great step. So now our second step is going to be we're going to go on TravisCI.org and you're going to create an account. And what that is going to allow you to do is with your GitHub account and with your Travis CI account will be very easy. Just follow, just um, follow what it tells you. You can connect it with your GitHub account. And when you connect it with your GitHub account, then you'll first see a screen like this. Well, you can add all your repos, and then if you want to simply sync it, if you want to simply sync Travis CI with your repo, you just can flip the switch. And if you just created a repo, make sure to click this Sync Now button right there. So as you can see, I have my example gem, and I have that switch flipped to on, which is pretty awesome. Private repos will not show up, I believe, unless you start paying. That is how they make money, I believe. So, yes, private repos will not show up yet. <clears throat> but now we want to get on on how to incorporate everything with that. So what you want to do is flipping the switch is simply not enough. What you want to do is you want to add a Travis.yml file, and if you click this file at the top of the page, it will give you it will kind of give you a get started page but if you click Ruby it will kind of show you what to do and but 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 now I'm gonna show you my Travis CI file which I just created before this video to make everything flow a little bit faster so what you need to make a, do is make a Travis.yml fi file at the head of your directory so right where you created your first gem folder and so now I've got a few things here I've got the language you which you want to list Ruby and then the next thing is the type of Ruby that you want so I'm saying RVM edition, which is going to be 2.2, the most recent version of Ruby as of January 16th, 2014. Um, cache, bundler, that means I by default, um, Travis CI uses bundler, but you can also mention it. And the script is what you want to call to run all the tests. So since I don't have um, pseudo access, I'm going to call, I have to call bundler ex bundle exec and then rspec spec to run all the specs inside my directory and so by doing that that runs all my specs and if you read this the travisci.com slash user slash languages slash ruby file it will tell you the same thing also tell you, you can add different types of rvms different types of ruby you can add more than just one to be able to simply add it and make sure you note the spacing they have because this is yaml so that's another language and it stands for i think yaml ain't markup language y-a-m you can Google that too. And so it's got all these different types of Ruby. And so um, you can all you can also tell and by doing actually by saying you're gonna cache the bundle, you can tell um, bundle you can tell Travis CI to cache it so it's not download, it's not slowing your build every time. And it says all this stuff here. I'm not being a genius and figuring this out by I don't know, trying it out or something. I don't know everything. So that's that's pretty cool. And there's way more advanced stuff, but that's all you need for right now. So that needs to be, remember, that needs to be a dot Travis. That needs to be a dot Travis dot YML file. So there's a dot before it. So you can do touch dot Travis dot YML and put that in there. So that's pretty cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple test just to make sure you have everything working. So now I'm going to do CD spec and I already actually created the test. So I created, um, you're going to have spell helper there by default, but now I, I made a file called test spec. And so simply with um, our spec here, if you haven't done our spec before, that's okay. But what you want to do is it gets a little, it's going to look a little weird at first, but what you want to do is kind of describe is kind of going to be your whole class. It's going to be, okay, I'm going to describe, I can describe a class or I can describe a series of functions and I'm just, I just called it test one. And then you, you put all those tests in different contexts. So I just created a, a context and then the test is actually starts with an it. So it is a test. So what, the whole point of our spec is that you're writing out what it's testing, so it's very easy to read. And then so I've got a very simple test, the test that should never fail. Expect one to equal one. So that's all it is. I'll have this again. I'll have my GitHub um, linked below so you can just look at that if you want. So you can look at all this code, the Travis CI, and that so you don't have to copy it down. So now if I do bundle exec our spec spec like it told me to, I get... Um, I get one example, I get all green, which is one example, finished, all of them passed, and it randomized my test because I have that setting on. Don't worry if it's not randomized. So that's pretty cool. So with that, 
um, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to vim into my Travis.yml and I'm just going to clean that up a little bit and then we're going to commit. I actually need to do that because I hadn't committed yet. So right now we're going to commit to our repository. So I'm going to do um, commit Travis.yml and then I'm going to do, so let me write out the full command just so you guys, because I have aliases, so git commit. Now I was doing the same thing as git commit am and then whatever your commit message is. And then I want to do git push origin master. And I believe um, you shouldn't have to, you can just do git push and see if it works, but if not, just do origin master. It may not be saved correctly on your computer. So now after that, I see that that is corrected. So now what I can do is I can simply go back into Travis CI. I can go to home instead of that page and we'll see example gem right here and I can go in and you we can see here let's see and let's see when I go into update when I see I can look at my past commits by going to build history and so I actually tried this out before just so I wouldn't waste your time because it takes a little bit to build it takes some time to build I had a failing test, then I updated the Travis YML, and then I updated the travel.yml because I spelled that wrong. And the yellow means it's taking time, but the current build, as you can see here, it will show that exact same footage that I showed you guys last time where it says, okay, this passed, this finished in a really fast amount of time, and bundle exe it executed that command, rspec, and it loaded the proper version of Ruby based on my whole .travis.yml file. So now I'm able to easily see those things. But now we're going to add this button to our readme for the final thing, and all you can do is you can just click it. So click image URL, and we're going to do this in markdown because our readme is a markdown file, so just copy that and go here again and then so I'm going to do vim readme and we're going to what are we going to do we're going to put that at the top here so we're going to put that at the top here and we're just going to copy it like that and so after that we did that so I'm going to do a get get status and you can see that we modified the readme and so I'm going to do git commit am I do the git commit am, which means it means add all the files that have already been added to your repository. So if you don't create a new file, you can just do git commit am and just say what you changed in the files you've already added to your repository. So to git push origin master. And so after that, that is now added to my repository. And as you can see, actually now my repository updated with a passing build. So now if I do this, that little message right there changed from built failing to built passing if you didn't notice before so now let's go up to my example gem folder and let's go to my readme here and as you can see here that same message from here to here is the same and it's dynamic so if my next build fails it will alert this badge this badge is a link to this badge so if it fails it will change so it's a it's a dynamically updating badge so that's travis ci so it will tell you if your tests are failing it's pretty cool so it's really easy to look at other projects so whenever you see those other projects that's what you're doing and you can click this link right here to be brought to the same link that we were just looking at the actual travis ci page well guys hope this video wasn't too long and i'm doing a new experiment try to like this video but also have the best day of your lives see ya